Sixth Epoch, Year 31, Vevishach. The fourth month in the tenth week, on the third day. I begin this journal with no small amount of trepidation. That Master Hoyd himself would ask me, Senna Hald, a brand new apprentice world singer, to begin a treatise on the Radiant Orders is so unexpected it boggles the mind. I shall do my best to fulfill his expectations. These first few entries will be my thoughts only. A more complete description of each order will come later, but what intrigues me the most as I begin this project are not the powers, but the personalities of each order. How are the members of each order different from the members of the others? What kinds of personalities does each order attract? This is especially interesting in cases where some of the personalities seem to overlap. Why choose one order over the other? How do you differentiate their similarities? This is where I will focus my initial writings. Windrunners Is there any greater hero than a windrunner? The windrunners certainly don't think so. And to be completely honest, they kind of have a point. This is the radiant order that protects the innocent, upholds the virtuous, and defends the defenseless. Also, they can fly, which I was going to leave off of my list on purpose to bother them. But scientific accuracy is, I suppose, more important than what I do, which is pestering the pompous. Oh, here's a good bit of scientific detail. How can you tell if someone is a windrunner? Answer, they'll tell you. In practice, windrunners tend to be equal parts heroic and insufferable. They're always out doing things, scouting, fighting, flying, training, and it can be exhausting just listening to their schedules. They tend to take on more squires than most, which means there are a lot of them, and they can't just have normal friend groups like a normal person. It has to be organized and official. They group themselves in squads and call themselves soldiers. They are aggravatingly good at things, but also just aggravatingly good. And sometimes I just think, get over yourselves, right? Nobody needs to be this righteous and serious and good-looking all the time. Now that I read back over this, it may be that I'm being a little unfair to the Windrunners. They're not really obnoxious. They're just formal and efficient, which I find to be obnoxious. They are also intensely heroic, and we would be lost without them. I will endeavor to be more unbiased in my future journal entries. <laughs>